Chuck is on the scene today after a tower tragedy. Three people killed after some scaffolding at a television tower collapsed in Miami Gardens. The tower transmits the signal for Local 10 and WSVN Channel 7. Let's go now to Local 10 news reporter Terrell Fournay. He's live at that scene right now with the very latest on the deadly accident. Terrell? Certainly a lot to sort out this afternoon. This entire site is still roped off in this yellow uh, police crime scene tape. We know that Miami Gardens police is back there guarding the site as well as OSHA and everyone at this point still trying to figure out what went wrong. A black pickup truck with Texas plates arrived this morning to the site where three workers from a Texas based tower company were killed in a freak accident just the day before. Sky 10 high over the scene today, giving us a glimpse of the work equipment that still remains high atop the TV transmission tower that WPLG shares with WSVN. On the ground, a mangled mess of rope and broken machinery. We were running away from the tower. Local 10 engineer Juan Rodriguez was on the ground and witnessed the incident. He says an experienced crew from a company called Tower King 2 was on scaffolding near the top of the tower. They were replacing a dummy pole with a new antenna for Channel 7 when something went terribly wrong. The, the crane operator started screaming and crying that they were dead in the floor. You know, It sounds like the winds from the hurricane, the cord ripping. And then when I heard the boom, I saw the debris flop in the air. And I immediately called 911. The three male workers from the tower company were pronounced dead on the scene, their bodies taken away by the medical examiner's office late last night after falling more than 1,000 feet. Construction was complete on the tower in 2009 by the same tower company, a before shot then and its current condition now without that antenna after work at the site suspended for the investigation. And it's important to note this afternoon that the tower itself is structurally sound, so people who live in this community don't have anything uh, to worry about. We are still waiting on the identities to be released of those three victims, but at this point it will be OSHA's job to determine if perhaps there was a piece of equipment failure or if this accident was caused by perhaps human error. At the, again, at this point, we still do not yet know. We are live in Miami Gardens. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.